<laughs> oh yeah, hello everybody, I am Ricky Nelson. Now, when I wrote this, uh, I loved this thing so much that I'm pretty nervous about telling you guys this story. And I'm gonna do this as much as I need to do it until I get this perfect, okay? And the name or the title of this story is On the Seventh Day, okay? Now, tell me what you think, okay? On the seventh day, God made man. Wait, it's my story. I'm not trying to disregard your personal beliefs. This is my story, so just to follow along, okay? On the seventh day, God made man. So, okay. First day, God made light and dark and blah, blah, blah. And some couple of days down the line, God made animals. Now, I need you to pay attention to these animals because these, these animals are important to this story. It's just like in the movies when they uh, show the, uh, the protagonist, you know, and he's always looking so cool and suave. You know, that's the director's way of telling you, pay attention to this guy. He's either one, going to die in a very heinous way sometime during this movie, or two, he's going to do some dumb shit. All right? Same thing, same thing. But with animals okay <laughs> if you have to you can picture a sexy animal you can picture a horse going like <laughs> yeah i i chose a horse i i think horses are very beautiful majestic creatures okay <laughs> no no i'm getting derailed here on the seven <laughs> sorry god made animals okay yeah blah 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 and on the seventh day god made man <laughs> and he was like oh oh my god <laughs> this is awesome ah <laughs> i like how you guys are so into this story and uh you didn't realize that god said oh my god and he's god but anyway uh it's my story <laughs> so god made man god gave him a wife and he was like you know what i've done a good job i'm gonna go relax and let my creation be so God went on vacation. We do not know where God goes on vacation, but he wasn't there. So Adam and Eve were just hanging out with the other animals, other creations. They say before all things went wrong, all the animals could speak the same language because ah, why not? How else would Eve have talked to the snake and the snake told her to eat the goddamn apple? Like, duh, okay? So God comes back, Adam and Eve are fucked up, and he is mad as fuck. And he decides, you know what? You know what? You two, out of here. Go. Bounce. I can't have you ruining this beautiful thing that I made. So Adam and Eve pack up their shit and leave. And a couple of days go by, or weeks, or months, we don't know, alright? And the animals are just hanging out in the garden of eden and they're eating grass they're drinking water they're partying you know the monkeys <laughs> and then as they're chilling they just hear <laughs> and they look and it's a spear a spear has stabbed one of the gazelle's brothers and he's mad and he looks around and he sees adam he's like adam what in the actual fuck <laughs> And Adam is like, um, man, I gotta eat. Uh, it's not my fault. The gazelle goes like, yeah, but that's my brother, man. B why did you throw a freaking spear through my brother? And Adam is like, because uh, yeah. he said I could do it. <laughs> gazelle is like, who? Who the fuck said that you could spear my brother? And Adam is like, guess you're <laughs> And Adam is like, he did, <laughs> pointing at God. <laughs> he said I could do it. <laughs> everybody, everybody turns. <laughs> everybody turns and looks at God. And God is like, mm. as in, he, he, he just left. <laughs> I feel, I have, <laughs> I have a feeling this joke is going to get me in trouble. But let me finish. Okay, let me finish my story. So. A few millennia down the line, God decides, I need to go check on my people. I need to go check on my creation. But it's like, uh-uh. Um, I remember how I left that place. So, Jesus, come over here. So, um, um, I'm, I'm going to give you a simple job, okay? I want you to go to earth and, you know, 
get the lay of the land, find out what's going on, and come back and tell me, okay? <laughs> so, us, human beings, God's most beautiful creation. He loved us most. That's, that's what they say in the good book. Again, this is my story, okay? Just follow along. What did we decide to do when Jesus came down, sent by God to see what's up? We decided that we're going to show God an example. We're going to show God that we still hold a grudge. And we're going to string his son up on the premise that he is dying for our sins. <laughs> like I said, it's just going to get me in trouble. Anyway, <laughs> my name is Ricky Nelson. <laughs> Thanks for watching.